one of their gods. Whenever one of them would cross the Lucia's marketplace, around the time that evening falls, like some tall and flawlessly beautiful boy, with the joy of incorruptibility in his eye, with a dark and fragrant hair of his, the passerby would stare at him, and one would ask another if he knew him, and if he were a Syrian Greek or foreign. But some, who paid him more attention as they watched, understood and would make way. And as he disappeared beneath the arcades, among the shadows and the evening lights, making his way to the neighborhood that comes alive only at night, that life of revels and debauchery, of every known intoxication and lust. They'd wonder which of them he really was, and for which of his suspect diversions he'd come down to walk to Lucia's streets from his venerable sacrosanct abode.